Hello and welcome to Pavli Connect. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the Gmail triggers for new email inside your Pavli Connect automation workflow. Yes, that's right. So Pavli Connect has recently updated their integration with Gmail. And with this updated integration, you can basically receive a new email from your Gmail account in your Pavli Connect automation workflow and start triggering your automation with those new incoming emails. Now, how you can set up this new email trigger for Gmail in your workflow? Let me show that to you. So as you can see, we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. And after coming here, let's start by creating an automation workflow. I'll name my workflow as Gmail trigger new email. You can basically give any name of your choice. Then we will just select the folder of our Pavli Connect account and click on create. Now, as you click on create here, you can see the automation workflow will open in front of us. And we are going to start with this trigger window over here. We will just search for Gmail and select it. After selecting the Gmail application in the trigger step, here in trigger event from the dropdown, select the trigger event as new email beta. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Gmail account with Pavli Connect in this trigger step. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Gmail button. Then after that, here in this pop-up window, select your Gmail account. Then just scroll down. Here you can see all the permissions and click on allow. And as we click on allow, we will see our Gmail account will get connected with Pavli Connect over here. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the label ID. In this dropdown, you can see a list of all the labels which you have created in your Gmail account can be seen over here. So here in my Gmail account, you can see if I click on more option, you can see all of these labels, which we can see inside Pavli Connect as well. So new email for which particular label you want to receive inside Pavli Connect, you have to select it. Let's say whenever I get a new email in my Gmail inbox, I want to get that particular mail inside Pavli Connect. So I'm going to select inbox over here. But if you want, you can select multiple labels over here as well as per your choice. You want to receive the spam emails, you can select it. If you want to get the sent email, new sent email from your Gmail account inside Pavli Connect, you can select it as well. Right now, I will be setting up this trigger for this label ID of inbox that whatever email will be in inbox of my Gmail account, we are going to get that same email inside Pavli Connect workflow. Then after selecting the label ID, it is asking us for the body content type. And here in this dropdown, we have two options, plain text and HTML. So what should be the body of the email which we are receiving? Either we want a plain text of the email or we want the email in HTML body. You can select anything as per your choice. I will be selecting plain text over here. After selecting this, what we have to do, we have to just click on this save and send test request button. But before clicking on save and send test request for the very first time, we have to turn our Pavli Connect workflow to off. We will just turn this button of Pavli Connect workflow to off over here. And then we will click on this save and send test request button. And we are doing this because when we click on save and send test request for the first time, it is basically going to capture the response of a dummy email, a test email. And we don't want to set up our automation workflow with that dummy email. That's why it's important to turn the workflow off and then click on save and send test request. And here you can see we have received this dummy email, this dummy message over here. After getting this dummy message, we'll just turn this workflow back on once again. And after turning it on, what we have to do, we have to basically click on this capture webhook response button. But before doing that, let me draft an email in some other Gmail account over here. So this is an another Gmail account over here, which I have opened. And in this Gmail account, you can see I have drafted this email. This is the email address of the same account, which we have connected with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. We have the subject line and this is just a dummy email. Now we are going to send this email. We have to send an email from some other account to our own Gmail account. And before sending this email, just click on this capture webhook response button. Now here in the important note of this trigger event, you can see this learn more button. Just click on this button and it will take you to a page on our forum. At this page, you will get a step-by-step -step guide that how you have to set up this new email trigger for Gmail. So you can just refer to this page and get all the details and a step-by-step -step guide as well. But first, let me just click on this capture webhook response button and then we will see it will change to waiting for response. This means Pavli Connect's trigger event is waiting to get a new response, a new email in our Gmail account. So the new email which we have drafted, let me send it and the email is sent. So within few seconds, we are going to receive an email in our Gmail account which we have connected with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. 
And as we receive the email, we will see the same email will be received inside our public connect workflow as well. So as you can see in our inbox, just now the same email is received. And we will see that in our public connect workflow as well, we have received some response in the trigger step. And in this response, you can see the details of the same email which we have received just now. So here you can see we have the result status as new message over here. We'll scroll down and here you can see this trigger ID. We are going to use this trigger ID later in this video and why we will be discussing that in a couple of minutes. We'll scroll down and here you can see the message body and we have the complete message body. We have the complete body of the new email which we have received on our Gmail account. We'll scroll down further and we have the labels over here. Then after that we have the thread ID. Once again we have the snippet of the message of the email body over here. We'll scroll down. Here you can see we have our email address that on which email address this email was sent. Then we have the header details over here. We have the name and the email address of the person who has sent us the email. We have the date and time as well. And after date and time we will scroll down further and we have some other details too like we have the subject line and all the other details related to this new email. This means the first step is completed over here. Using this new email trigger of Gmail inside Public Connect, you can capture the new emails from your Gmail account instantly in your Public Connect workflow. Now let me tell you some more important things. We'll just refer to the documentation over here which we have created for this trigger setup. And here in this documentation, there are three important points. The first one is regarding the handling of sent label. Like if you have selected the label as sent over here in the trigger step, then in that case, what is supposed to be done? So if you're selecting this label of sent over here, then in that case, if you configure the trigger to use the sent label to run automation for every sent message, do not use a send email action without incorporating a break logic. So if you're using send an email action of Gmail in some other automation workflow inside Public Connect and automatically you are continuously sending some email to other user, that same email will be captured as a sent label over here inside Public Connect. So just make sure that you are adding a proper logic that what are the emails which you are sending from your Gmail account for which you are setting up this trigger inside Public Connect. Because failing to do so may trigger fire recursively lending to unexpected outgoing emails and the potential exhaustion of your email quota. So if you keep on sending hundreds and thousands of email from the same account and those emails are going under the sent label of your Gmail account over here, then using this trigger, you are going to capture all of those emails. So make sure if you're using both the triggers and actions of Gmail, you're adding some kind of logic in between that. Then the next point is trigger inactivity. The trigger will become inactive if there are no activities in your mailbox or for selected label for a continuous period of six days. So for six days, if this trigger is not going to capture any email for your inbox or the labels which you have selected, in that case, this trigger will automatically become inactive. So make sure you keep on getting some new emails at least once every six days for the labels or the inbox of your Gmail account which you are using in this trigger step. And also the limit of new email trigger. Only one new email trigger is allowed per user. To set up a new trigger for a different workflow, you must first remove the existing trigger by using the remove trigger action step. So if you have created one automation workflow inside Public Connect, which uses Gmail's new email, this particular trigger event. Now, if you want to set up another automation workflow for the same trigger event, in that case, what you have to do? First, you have to remove this trigger from this particular workflow. So one Public Connect account can have only one Gmail's new email trigger automation workflow over here. Then in that case, in the same workflow, you can add router and send the emails to other automation workflows as well. We will have a dedicated video on that as well later on. But let me tell you here that in your account, you can basically create new email, Gmail's new email trigger only in one workflow. And to remove the trigger from one workflow and adding that trigger into another workflow involves Gmail action step. So to do it, just come to the action step over here and then here in choose app, search for Gmail. After selecting Gmail, we have to select the action event as remove new email trigger. Then just click on connect and connect the same Gmail account which we have connected in trigger step as well. Just select the existing connection and click on save. After connecting the account, it is asking us for the trigger ID. Just click on this bar and then here in this drop down, we have to basically search for the response of trigger ID over here. And here it is. Select this response of trigger ID from this Gmail's new email trigger event responses. And after mapping the trigger ID over here, just click on save and send test request. 
Now, when we click on save and send test request, you can see that we are going to receive some response over here and the response is received and the result status shows that it is removed. This particular trigger event is now removed. So using the trigger event, while setting up the trigger event, we have basically subscribed for this particular trigger event in our Gmail account. And using this action of remove new email trigger, we have basically removed or deleted that connection or that subscription over here. After removing it, you can create some other automation workflow into your public connect account, which includes Gmail's new email trigger event as well, and capture the new emails in that automation workflow. If you want to set up multiple automation workflow for the same trigger, in that case, what you can do, just set up this trigger in one workflow and use router by Pabli in the action step. And you can basically add the routing condition. You can add the conditions and forward the emails to some other workflow using the webhook. Now, after this, the guys will get back to this documentation. And then here you can see that this is all about the Gmail's new email trigger over here. You can just refer to this documentation. You'll get the link of this documentation over here in the important step, important note of your Gmail's new email trigger step. So I hope this video was helpful to you and it helped you understand that how this new trigger event of Gmail inside Public Connect, which captures new emails from a Gmail account actually works and how you can set it up for your own Gmail account. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. Or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at Also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Fabric Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.